Understanding the distinction between illness and disease and the many available treatments makes it easier to comprehend how alternative therapies like e.g. biofeedback fit within a comprehensive approach for managing illnesses and diseases. Although the disease can exist without causing sickness, this is uncommon. For instance, it has been dubbed the silent killer because people might have heart illness and be unaware of it. If people do not realize they have it, the illness will not affect them, but someone may pass away from it. In a perfect world, the sickness is healed, and the ailment goes away. Going back to the conventional doctor to treat people's ailments is likely to annoy the doctor and unlikely to be beneficial to patients. If the sickness is cured, some characteristics are still present. In addition, it is possible to be unwell without having a known disease. For instance, a person with chronic pain is frequently in pain without any structural damage. In this situation, the condition can be treated with BRT and biofeedback. It is significant to remember that while disease often results from sickness, illness can alter the disease process or even result from the disease. Social determinants are fundamental in this context, particularly the interaction between the medical staff and the patient. The patient feels better with support and the possibility of clear communication, including with family members. If an illness is a factor that can be mitigated by communication, then things will only get worse. However, it is social interactions that can solve this problem. It is possible to develop an effective treatment strategy with a combination of different types of interventions. This gives a chance to give a unique approach to the patient. This and many other essays are available at studycorgi.com.